So way back in elementary school, I got really into making comics. I would make comics about my friends in crazy situations and I would make them all the time. Something about being able to create a story with drawings was just very attractive to me. Hence the creation of this channel. But over the summer going into intermediate school, I found this series on YouTube called BFDI and I really liked it. The premise was simple. Many animated inanimate objects would compete in several challenges to eventually win a prize. Each episode, someone would be eliminated and this would go on until the winner was the last one standing. I love this series because it looks so simple and easy. So naturally, I started to think about what my own version of the series would look like. One day in fifth grade, I was zoned out in math class thinking about what a character would look like in my show. I drew a little doodle on my paper without thinking, but when it was done, I had created Toast. And... I loved him. So, naturally, I made so many more object characters, and that same week, I made a comic about them. It was basically the same as BFDI, but different characters. The cast was pretty big, but the main ones we will focus on for now should be really these characters. And even more specifically, this character. This is Buckety. He was a character that was an absolute coward. Buckety, we need this water in this hole. Please help us out. You're the only one that can collect a large amount of things. Well, water? Uh, I don't know. Toast, don't you know? Buckety has aquaphobia. He has an extreme fear of water. What? All right, well, can you at least help carry these cups of water into the hole? Buckety also has cupophobia. Fear of cups. Oh, come on! As the comics went on, Buckety just disappeared one day. Since no one really liked Buckety, no one really cared. But then, once it was down to the final two, Buckety reappeared, and the awful host just let him rejoin. Buckety came back with a completely different personality. He was quiet, angry, and vengeful. Hey, Buckety pal. Wh where were you? B buckety You don't care where I've been. You just think it's unfair that I've rejoined the game. However, I can promise you that the challenges I've been facing have been much more difficult than your pathetic excuses for challenges. I've had to terminate firstborns. You had to put water in a hole. Okay. Toast, Buckety, and Cheez-It competed in this contest where Cheez-It actually lost and the final two were Buckety and Toast. Those two were faced with a finale contest. This contest was basically just a giant race. The winner of the race won the prize, which was one quintillion dollars. Which, by the way, is like an unfathomable amount of money. So these two competed in the race and it was very close. At the very end, Toast found himself across the finish line and Buckety was left a loser. Toast, of course, was extremely happy. Buckety was furious. So that was the end of the first comic. I was very proud of it, but one year later, I wanted to keep going. So in sixth grade, I began what I called the Buckety Saga. In the Buckety Saga, all the objects started out on a trampoline in the middle of the sky. Do not ask me why, 6th grade Harrison had no idea what he was doing. Basically, they spend days and days there until finally they run the numbers. Whoa, guys, at least 70% of the Earth is water, right? I'm pretty sure. So that means if we jump off the trampoline, we have a 70% chance of landing in water and surviving, right? Oh, yeah. But we also have a 30% chance of dying. I'm willing to roll those dice. Me too. So they jump off this dead gum floating trampoline. Almost everyone is petrified besides Cheez-It, who is very confident the entire time. But sure enough, they do land in a lake in the middle of nowhere. We lived! I told you. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, where the crud are we? They get out of this lake, and then this old bum named Corn Dog shows up and is all like, Hey, what's that? Whoa, who are you? Oh. Uh, I'm Corn Dog. Did you happen to see someone fall from the sky? Oh, that might have been us. That might have been us? Who do you? What do you? Who else would fall out of the? Uh, yes, no, no, that was definitely us. Yeah, well, we were stuck in a trampoline in the sky for like days on end. It was terrible. So we just decided to jump down. Wait, trampoline? Yeah, a trampoline. Oh no! What is happening? You're the chosen ones. The cho- what? So this dude goes on this whole explanation of how these objects are the chosen ones to destroy their evil ruler. Of course, this is a lot to take in, so they ask who the ruler is, and he says it's- King Buckety. Buckety? We'll die! Buckety is misleading! When you first get to know the guy, he just seems like some coward, but then he comes back and backstabs you, and nearly takes away your one quintillion dollars! 
dude is insane! That was a very specific example. I had a bad experience. Somehow the corn dog convinces the objects to go and defeat Buckety, and so they go on their quest. On their journey, they run to this carrot which doesn't do much but talk weird, so they knock him unconscious. Anyways, they eventually get to Buckety's castle, and it's just, you know, a castle. So this is what he's doing nowadays. Dude must be the richest guy around! I have one quintillion dollars. What's that? Buckety must have been expecting them because he shows up with this massive robot and they all freak out. A pretty intense battle ensues. Toast gets hurt pretty bad and Cheez-It throws a cardboard box into Buckety's head which turns him into a complete moron and then the whole robot blows up. So of course, everyone's hurt, they go to the hospital and the doctors put a jelly bean in Buckety's top and his personality changes to super nice and friendly. So Buckety and Toast call a truce. Buckety is finally good again. I loved this comic and everything about it, so I showed it to all of my friends. Eventually, I was convinced by Drew to make a sequel, so I went home, sat down, and worked on a sequel. Due to time constraints, I can't really tell you what happened in this one just yet. You'll have to subscribe to see the rest of this tale. I went on to make six more installations, and of course, here's a spoiler, Buckety is not good again. It is not good. Someone dies. It's bad. So yeah, if you want to see how this whole story continues, subscribe. I'll make many more installations to the series, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. For now, I will see you guys later.